Hi there, it's Tracy here from the Papercraft Studio. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm going to show you how I made this little um, Amazing Year birthday card. I'm calling it Amazing Year because this is the stamp set we've used. This one here, this image here. Um, some great little sentiments and I love this little parcel on there. Um, but I wanted to show you a spotlight technique. So where you just colour a section of the card and cut it out and prop it up. So these gorgeous note cards are part of the celebration offering um so we've just released our new mini catalogue july to december i know for some of you it's a bit stressful thinking about these kind of things in july but um if you do want me to send you a catalogue right now um just do get in touch and i'll send you a free copy and also a copy of the celebration brochure and celebration runs uh throughout august uh sorry throughout july and august so um some great little stamp sets in here but these are the note cards and envelopes so you just need uh, a spend of 45 pounds and you can choose these for free and you get um 20 cards and envelopes in here so it's really good value and you get pool party and you get a soft seat phone um so let's let's show you them here so i'm going to use the soft seat foam here Look how cute the envelopes are. I'll show you the other one as well, actually. Um, actually maybe I'll do it on this one. This is the um, pool party one. I'll just show you on that one for just to show you the difference. Um, so they come pre-scored. So you just fold it in half. So all super simple. Um, and it's always handy to have some you know, pre-printed card bases to, to just pop a label on or something. And then you've got a card ready to go. Okay, so... I've put this image on my Stamparatus, which is a um, stamp positioning tool, if you haven't heard of it, that Stamping Up do. And you get two of these um, kind of Perspex, um, these called um, kind of platforms that you can move around. Um, but it's also very good if you've got an image that maybe is a bit tricky to stamp because it's quite detailed, you can pin it in place up in the corner here and then just keep stamping until you get the image that you want so that's what i've done here so i've used here thick basic white cardstock and i've measured this at three and a half by about four inches so three and a half uh, sorry three and a quarter this way by about four inches just to take this stamp and i'm using stays on ink because i want to use the watercolor pencils and that's what you need to use for those if you're using blends our blend pens um use uh, memento ink okay so ink it up stamp down and you can see that's not the best image um so you can just go over it again and because it's pinned in place up in that top corner with the magnet um you can keep going and give it a good press down if it moves slightly just get it back in that corner up there i'm just going to switch my stays on ink because i think i need to re-ink that one Otherwise, we'll be here watching this video all day. Okay. So it's a really good tool to invest in um, because you can use it for so many things. One more I'm going to do here. You can, of course, just stamp the image and it would be absolutely fine. Um, so I'm doing two of these. So I'll come back to you in a second when I've stamped this second one. Okay, so that's my second one stamped. Pop this away for a second. Okay, so I might go this way around this time as well, just to show you a difference. So I'm using the Stylish Shapes dies. I've got a couple out in, in another uh, project at the moment, but I'm using this larger circle and the third smallest or third largest it looks as well. Um, so one of them I'm going to cut a little section like this with the smallest one so you can move it around and see which section you want to cut but I, I want to do it slightly off centre um, so I'm going to go ahead and run that through the cutting machine. These are a great set of dies to, to get um, but if you don't have a, a cutting machine, a die cutting machine um, you know punches you could use for this or just you know cut them out on a on a trimmer this one i'm going to cut the 
the big image and it just about fits in if you kind of realize that that's your cutting blade in the middle of that there okay so i'm going to again go ahead and cut that okay so it's really minimal supplies for this project um you'll need um some scraps of pool party and um soft sea foam <laughs> for these banners and i've used these two here so again i'm going to cut those pieces okay so we've got those layers here Let's put my dies away um, right, so watercolour pencils. We've got two um, different lots in the catalogue and there's such good value. Um, I would recommend getting both, but, um, you know, I, um, let me just see how much they are. Okay, here they are. So on page 126 of the catalogue. So the bigger set uh, is £15. You get 13 pencils and the smaller set is 11 75 and you get 10 pencils. So really good value. Um, I'm going to use Granny Apple Green. Uh, which ones? Maybe Coast Cabana. You can choose whichever colours you like, really, but um, let's do a bit of Flirty Flamingo this time, maybe, and some Garden Green. Okay, <clears throat> so on the bottom piece here, I just did a little bit of light kind of watercolouring of the balmy blue around here that's one I haven't got out actually pull that one out Put that one that specific point you want it to be quite a light blue and I found when I did it directly onto the card it it was too too strong so just rub a little bit onto your grid or some scrap paper and we're going to use um blender pens and you get three of these in a pack don't worry if the end looks like it's got colour on, um, it just keeps that sometimes a bit slightly stained. And then just go around and just fill in some, a little light blue around here. Again, this is optional, um, but it just added a little bit of detail around. So you can take your time and, you know, go nicely <laughs> around here. Mine's a bit rushed. But... Um, uh, don't go over the same bit too much because it will start to bobble. Okay, so I'll just do a little bit down here. Yeah, so take your time um, and you'll get a much nicer effect than that. That's more like this one. Okay, so with the watercolouring, you really don't have to be um, neat. Um, you don't have to be good at colouring. So that one I'm going to set aside and we're going to focus on this little spotlight one. So come in and just do some darker scruffy coloring i mean it's not even good coloring is it and then some lighter around the top so i've gone dark around the center light around the top each time you use your blender pen just run it clear and then you just come in and kind of just smoosh the color around in each of these sections so you get a darker bit in the middle and it fades out so you look like you're a complete artist when you're not. <laughs> you don't have to be good. Um, and go ahead and colour the leaves, whichever ones you want. Uh, you can do some darker, some lighter. Um, and do some in garden green, just to give a bit of contrast here. Again, you will take your time. I'm going to do these little stems. And actually, I'm going to do these stems on this one as well, just some little adding a bit of colour and then I'm going to use Coast of Cabana again probably darker on these bits here and then going into lighter and you can use blends like I say just use a different um, base ink use Memento okay so let's come in and blend this in so this is great you don't need to be perfect you don't need to be good at art this does all the work for you. Okay, and then on the leaves as well. See how it just then blends the colour in. And then, because I'm going to move on to a different colour, I'm just going to run it clear. These have a solution in these blender pens and um, they last for ages. So they're great. Again, you can use them with the blends. Um, two so and then i'm just going to blend this last little bit i did on here just to add a bit of color 
there we go so you can choose whichever colors you like obviously i use some different ones here gorgeous grape and daffodil delight but just to change it up a bit here okay so with these banners you want to cut them in half um to make them you see at the moment it wouldn't really show either side much of that so you need to space them out underneath so just cut them roughly in half both pieces and then i've also used some pool party i think it's called sheer ribbon yeah sheer ribbon um just let's see roughly how much i used there it's about just about four inches maybe just over four and a half inches and again just for another little bit of detail on there so layer it up however you'd like have a little practice first and then um once you're happy with your design you can go ahead and stick them all on so let's see and you're going to line up this with the image underneath so that it looks like it's part of this picture still okay so that's not too bad i'll pull these out a little bit here so with these bits you're going to glue them down so kind of leave leave them where they are and just do the bit that you need to work on so that you don't forget your little design you see on this one i've got them going the other way so just really however you like to do it you could have them lined up straight so that they you know like this so they just mirror image each other but you know me kind of like the offset look it really do neat <laughs> Okay, just have a quick look to see that that bottom one's in the right place. Yep, before we stick that all down. And then, so dimensionals on the back of this one here. Just two or three. And then, like I say, just see if you can get it on top of the image and line up, that looks about right there. So you see I've kind of lined up these leaves a bit, but it really doesn't matter if you're not spot on. Um, and then you're going to put some, um, oh, let's stick the ribbon down first actually. And to do that, um, I'm gonna have it going that way, just pop a glue dot in the middle um, because it's, it's all going to get, um, stuck down with the dimensionals that's going that are going over the top and ribbon and glue don't really go too well um so i'm just going to put a glue dot under the middle there and just let it kind of float around dimensionals on the back of this one so these are really lovely quick and easy cards and obviously you could use any image on here whichever stamp sets you have um and with these note cards, it's it's such a quick way to pop something together. Okay, so stick that one on there. And then we're going to add some little bling here as well. I think these are called um, opaque rhinestones, something like that. But they're with all the rhinestones at the back of the catalogue. Um, but, you know, I always like to add... I can't get that one off. Some little sparkles. You can't have enough bling, can you? Here we go. So I hope you've enjoyed making this cute little birthday card using the celebration note cards and envelopes. Take care. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>